Open for engineer and it looks like this. Three main areas to the screen. You have a navigator window, a browser window and a graphics window. The browser window is used to browse information from the internet, from your computer and from the network. You can close that using the quick slide control, click on that and you get an increased graphics work area where you can work on your part files or designs or drawings. The navigator window is where you can pick where you want to see information from and also you can consider how the design is progressing using the model tree which at the moment is greyed out as you haven't started creating something. To do that you simply click on File and New. We're going to create a part file, 3D shape. We'll call this 3D Trial. Notice it says illegal characters in 3D trial. The reason for this is that I've got a gap in the file name. ProEngineer does not recognise gaps. You must use something to fill that gap. Normally a dash or an underline. In my case I've used an underline. When I've done that I click OK and I can start doing my drawing. The screen has changed in the graphics area and I've now got what are called datum planes showing. These datum planes represent the area on which we can work. So you think of them as a piece of paper, uh, a piece of glass, on which you're going to create the shape for your 3D design. When we start, we're going to start by creating an extrusion. Extrusion in the same way that you would have pipes, uh, windows, components, door components, all of those are an extrusion in that you start with a given outline and stretch that outline to create a 3D shape. So we click on the extrude tool. The dashboard in my case is opened at the bottom of the screen. In your case it may be at the top of the screen. That enables me to control what I'm doing. At the moment placement is in red because I need to say where I'm going to place my profile to create the extrusion. So I click on placement. It wants me to define where the sketch is going to be. So I click on the top plane, so I'm looking straight down onto my extrusion. When I've done that, I just click on Sketch in the Sketch window. You now notice that you can see quite clearly the default coordinate system, which is at the intersection of the two reference lines. It is normally a good practice to start your drawing from that point, from that intersection. I'm going to just do a simple rectangular block or prism. I move the cursor to the intersection of those reference lines where the default coordinate system is, click with the left hand mouse button, stretch my shape to where, however I want that to be. You'll notice it is showing H and V on the line to show they are horizontal and vertical. If I move it carefully I can get a red L1 on two adjacent sides which means that those sides have an equal length and therefore it is a square not a rectangle. I get the shape to how I want and then I just press the left hand mouse button. I can then use the select tool to select the dimensions of that rectangle. I can double click on those and I can make them the size that I want them to be. You'll notice that the bottom dimension that I've changed is now in brown. That is a strong dimension, and that is a dimension that controls the size of the shape. At the moment the height isn't controlled because I have a weak dimension there, which is weak or reference dimension, which is shown in grey. Double click that one, make that the size that I want it to be. In this case I'm making 150 millimetres, and that too now will be in brown and will be a strong dimension controlling dimension. When I'm happy with the shape and its size I can click on the done tick in the area which is called the right hand tool chest to the right of the graphics area and this gives me the drawing tools, the manipulation tools, the editing, dimensioning, various other changes I can make and also it gives me the opportunity to either accept what I've done and carry on uh, creating my extrusion or to quit and stop creating the extrusion. 
I click on the done tick and the shape now moves uh, to a 3D form. I can see this more clearly there by going up to the top of the screen to what's called the main toolbar. I click on the little AB icon for the name view list and select trimetric to get a 3D view of my shape. I can change the height of the extrusion by just using the grab handle or I can click on the dimension on there and change that to what I would like it to be. I can also change uh, the dimension in the dashboard which is, say in this case is at the bottom of the screen simply click on there and make it the size that I would like it to be. When I think I've got that to the right size I click on the spectacle icon to preview the piece I can see how it looks. If I'm happy with that I can or want to change it I can click on the speckle icon to go back. I can make another change in the height. Use the spectacle icon again. I can then either click on that again or click on the resume arrow. When I'm happy with the piece I just click on the accept green tick in the dashboard. I've now done that. My shape has been created. I make that fit the screen by clicking on the refit button in the main toolbar. Click outside the shape and I can now see my finished form. Simply click on the uh, save icon which really is, is a floppy disk. Click on that and it will save it to your computer or the network. Click OK and it will save it to the default place. This exercise is now complete.